How this Japanese engineer gave away a trillion dollar idea for free. 1992, Japan. Workers at Toyota factories are scanning 10 different barcodes just to track one car part. They're exhausted. The system is broken. Meet Masahiro Hara, a quiet 35-year-old engineer who loves playing Go during lunch breaks. While everyone else is complaining about the problem, he's staring at those black and white stones on the game board. Then it hits him. What if codes could work like Go? Not just left to right, but up and down too. More information, same space. For six months, Hara obsessively studies every piece of printed material he can find. Magazines, newspapers, flyers. He's hunting for the perfect pattern that scanners will never confuse with random text. Finally, he cracks it. The magic ratio. Three small squares that can be read from any angle, instantly. In 1994, the QR code is born. His company wants to patent everything and charge royalties. Here's where Hara makes the decision that shocks everyone. He gives it away completely free, no licensing fees, nothing. His colleagues think he's lost his mind, but Hara believes something bigger. If you want to change the world, you don't own it, you share it. Fast forward to today, QR codes process over 2 billion transactions daily in China alone. The global QR payment market, $35 billion and growing. That free decision just created the foundation of our cashless world. Sometimes the biggest wins come from giving everything away.